Rotherham's where I was born, it's where I've always lived. Rotherham's now the fourth largest South Yorkshire borough, in one of the highest proportions of school workers in the country. And quarter of a million people live here. It's basically a steel town with one of the best productivity records in the industry. And that record shared by the local collieries which surround it and supply it with coal. Most men I grew up with left school to go down the pier to work in the steel industry. I took the opportunity to try both, along with about 40 other jobs. Good, because it's 27 years since I was at this school. You know, this I is the place I went to school back in the 50s, Spurley A. I was really happy here. Listen, what's the best school in Rotherham? Yes, that's what I want to hear. How things have changed since I was at school. I mean, I've just been in the uh, in the cookery class. It's full of boys. Here I am in the woodwork class. Oh, they're all girls. Right where I'm standing, there used to be a petition. Uh, it was girls at that side and boys at this side. We used to get caught regularly with our noses up against the window and sent to the headmaster and probably get the cane, which was ridiculous. So nowadays, at least people have got a lot more liberal. Now, this corridor, of course, was petitioned off and it was about 50 yards each side. So they've moved it. Now, it's got to be one of the longest corridors in Europe, right? But in about seven minutes, they're going to come really dashing down here for the grub. So I've got to get off. I'll see you later. Ta-ra. Hey? Yeah, but I can't think what colour. Fantastic. Even the grub's good now. Can't get on with Have you seen this Look yet? at this lot. It's just cod. You're not cod him, are you? No. It's just cod. OK. I'll see <laughs> that put me in my place. I'll see you later. <laughs> what are you having for your sweet? Don't know. Hey? And they've got some choice here. You know what I'm here? We didn't have a choice. It was one pudding and one dinner. They either had it or left it. Well, what should I get? What, what's best here? Do I have any? Kelly, what do you reckon to all these girls and boys in one class? You think it's a good thing, lads? Yeah. 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 What about the girls? You think it's a good thing? Yeah. yeah. What do you mean, no? <laughs> lads always mess about. Lads always mess about. Get you done. And get you done. Yeah, that's Yorkshire, by the way, for messing about and get you in trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce you to another favourite son of Rotherham. He is the MP for Rotherham and has been for the last six years, Mr. Stan Crowther. Come gather round and listen while I sing a little song. It's about a town called Rotherham and it won't detain you long. It's the grandest town in England, I'll have you all to know. And it's not the town it used to be a hundred years ago, a hundred years ago, a hundred years ago. It's not the town it used to be a hundred years ago, oh, a hundred years ago, a hundred years ago. No, it's not the town it used to be. A hundred years ago. Oh, I like Rotherham. It's, uh, it's, it's a place where everybody really gets to know one another. You go to these big cities and, well, hustle and bustle all the way, and nobody thinks about sort of helping you with anything if you're struggling and anything like that. We've 17 shoe shops and umpteen building societies. Can't eat shoes and building societies. I used to live just half a mile from the pit down the valley in Dalton Brook. I shared a little house with my wife and three daughters and my mother-in-law. And we're taking a look at that today. See how much the street my wife grew up in has changed. These houses were specially built for miners to live in. They were owned by the coal board and then eventually the council started eating all the old buildings up. Two up and two down. And the coal house and the toilet were at the bottom of the yard. In Yorkshire, of course, the coal house is known as the coil oil. We used to have some marvellous times here, we really did. Especially New Year's Eve, you know, everybody used to come out and sit on the steps with a bottle of whiskey or something. And a bottle of Nookie Brown from the Gun and Bagging Club. But the place has altered a little bit. They've done different things to the houses, haven't they? Yes, they put new windows in. But people around here wanted them knocking down. Because they always said that you couldn't make a silk purse, purse out of the sow's ear, which is quite true in a way. But uh, most of the uh, same people are still here. You lived here a lot of years before me, didn't you? From being born, yes. Yeah. Born, yeah. So what do you remember about the place? Well, I remember when it was all cobblestones and... and everybody knew one another and there was no trees in the street and... Uh, all my aunties and uncles and relatives all lived round here. Quite a few of them still do. It's nice to be back in Dolan. It brings back a lot of fun memories to me. It really does. Uh, these people are rough people. But they're the salt of the earth, aren't they? <laughs> 